Welcome back everybody! Today we have a new review and today's review will be the BTX Colourpop Collection! Pony is a very very famous makeup artist from Korea and she basically did a collaboration with Colourpop and they created a whole series of items. They launched the Super Shock Eyeshadow, they launched the Super Shock Cheek, they launched this pressed powder palette as well as this ultra lip blotted, ultra blotted lip. Yeah, so I got myself one pressed powder palette and also two of the ultra blotted lip in Holly Lolly and True Holic. Let's go straight into it. I don't have anything on my face now, so I only have foundation, blusher, and eyebrows, and concealer, and that's about it. So I'll be depending on these products to colorify me into a radiant looking girl. Okay. Shall we start with the Beauty Colourpop Press Powder Palette? So this is the palette, it's called Candy Button and it has 9 shades over here. I bought this uh, one two weeks ago and I can't really remember what's in the shade but let's find out. It looks really really pretty it's not a plastic packaging it's actually paper packaging and i am sure that this packaging will get quite dirty after a while so i think that's like one bad thing about this packaging but let's take a look in the inside Ooh. check it out as you can tell this palette has a mirror which is very very important because I hate it when eyeshadow palettes do not come with a mirror. It's such an important thing. It comes in nine beautiful shades. Five of them are matte color. So this two and this three colors are matte. And over here we have one shimmer color which is give me a break. Got me a break. Sorry. I can see that this is gonna be one of my favorite shades because I like anything that's like pink with Goldish accents, and we have three of their pressed glitters. So let's get to swatching. taped glued I mean again because my eyelids are just like up like that okay so this is the undercover by Marc Jacobs and this is the perfecting coconut eye primer so I use this whenever I go heavy on my eyelids I have some with me here and I will just be putting them so this primer actually lasts very long for me and that's why I really like it see hmm because I really want to use this shade over here so let's do a bright pinkish eye thingy thing so I'll be choosing Sweet Capacity to put as my base colour and let's see how it goes take a little more so let's do Bubblicious to define our eyes a little bit more This is my tricks So to make your eyes look more defined What you do is to choose a dark colour Just a little bit Okay you know where your eyelid folds, you just need to put it a bit underneath there. So as you can tell, there's like a custard shadow on the ends of my eyes and that will actually help with making your eyes look more defined. And then just blend out on the other side. So this brush, I'll be using it on this colour. Oh, the fallout, this one is very very bad. 
And then, what I will do because I'm Asian, I will put a little bit here. The fallout is very, very bad for this shade, especially. And then, this is where I want to put my glitter because I am extra like that. I think I will go for something very, very popsicle. This is actually my first time using Colourpop Press Glitter, so I'm actually quite. So excited to see how this looks like but I will put this on the center of my eyelid Ooh, beautiful it's beautiful for like very glamorous events but I'm not looking to use this on a normal daily basis first things first the matte colors and the shimmer color over here is very very usable for everyday use so the bad thing I have to say about this palette is actually the fallout the fallout for the matte shades are not that bad but the fallout for the shimmer shades is really quite bad if you are intending to use if you are intending to use the press glitter just make sure that you have some tissues nearby or like some makeup wipes so that you can actually clean up after that and so I have two colors over here one would be holly lolly and the other one would be true holic so I really like their ultra blotted formulas they are, I tried their ultra blotted lippy before and I really really like it I own quite a lot of it but now they came up with this um, tube version let's move on to the swatches first and we can talk about it later So the first one that we're gonna try out is the Holly Lolly from the Beauty Collection. Okay, so let's give it a try. Oh! Because look what just happened. Okay. The palette just gave up on me. Now I have an empty, I have an empty hole in my new palette and now I have to clean this shit up. Gosh. Moving on. When you apply it, it's kind of wet, but when it dries off, it's like powdery. So it's not, you can't really feel it anymore, it's totally dry. Slight transfer, but it's like a powdery transfer. It's not even like a wet transfer. And as you can tell, my lips look smooth and juicy and thick. I really like this formula. That's why I always buy the ultra blotted lip because their blotted textures are really really nice. The finish on the lips is also very natural. It doesn't give you like a very uh, defined look, which I like as well. It's a brightish. It's like a brightish nude dark pink and the color comes off quite true on the lips as to what color you see here so let's go on to the next one so let's move on to chew holic which is a quite a bright orangey pink so the normal color range that i use would be something along the lines of holly lolly but this kind of colors are really very very korean ish so my be a shock for me. Is out some product and we will try it out. Oh my god, it's very bright. It's okay actually. That's the effect of ultra blotted lips. If a lipstick came in this shade, I would run away and I would never buy a lipstick that is this shade. Although it's really bright, but it makes your face look fine. The blotted lip texture makes it look very like faded and it makes your lips look very dreamy and very smooth. So maybe that's the effect and 
the brightness of the color doesn't really come out fully and that's what we appreciate right here so as usual I like their ultra blotted lips as always and I now have two more of them in a new packaging in a new formula so yes I like the eyeshadow palette which is disappointing not disappointing because the colors are bad but disappointing because they are not fixed properly the colors from this palette is really very Korean inspired it's very bright colors but yet usable on a daily basis so if you have fair skin this would be great for you because the colors will show up very very nicely on your skin overall I would recommend you to buy the ultra blotted lip because I always want to buy the ultra blotted lip but Let's talk about the eyeshadow palette because now I am very very a little bit upset. I have a hole in my eyeshadow palette right now. I literally just opened it. That's all I have to say about this ColourPop thingy. A little bit upset but I'll get over it after I sleep tonight and maybe after I buy new makeup in the next round. So last week, I posted a tutorial video that shows you 6 ways to put your blushes. If you have not seen that, go and watch it now, right here. Thank you guys for watching as always and love me, sub me if you want to reach me. Bye!